My name is Mark Fellows. I'm Director of Consulting at SNL Metals and Mining. I've spent my entire career in the mining industry, which is now nearly 30 years. For me, mining is a personal thing. I come from a family of coal miners going back over 150 years. So for me, it was something which I kind of grew up with. Everything from automobiles, mobile phones, computers, anything manufactured pretty much inevitably is going to include something that came out of the ground. The US is the largest manufacturing country in the world um, by a small margin with China hot on the heels. But it's only the seventh largest mining country these days. So there's a genuine question there about that gap between mined output and manufacturing needs. The main reason for that is the permitting process. The US has one of the world's largest mineral endowments uh, in terms of mineral in the ground, with a value in excess of six trillion. However, the development process to actually progress these mineral deposits from exploration stage through to mining is broken and takes far too long. Any kind of investor, and mining companies are no exception, need certainty when they're making investment decisions. And the problem with the permitting process is it's extremely unpredictable. That has a real economic impact on the value of a project and on mining companies' willingness to invest. And what we see is that a seven to 10 year delay could typically reduce the value of that project by 30 to 50%. There are several things we could do. We could make the processing timeline more predictable by imposing clearer time deadlines on various components of the process. We could reduce the number of government agencies involved and we could give mining companies a more proactive role in producing the permitting studies. The good news is there is legislation currently in front of the House and the Senate that would streamline the permitting process. A whole host of things that would otherwise be imported could be mined here in the US 